Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, when we left off, I had a somewhat successful, at least the astronauts didn't die, kind of mission. Uh, Suborbital, I didn't quite make it. Uh, so as we, can, as we can see, we're back here. Uh, this was the Wolfie 1.3 that failed to achieve orbit. I just don't think it's powerful enough. So what I'm going to do, uh, first of all, I'm going to remove these silly... I added parachutes to the top of these. That's kind of pointless, because um, <laughs> I didn't. I they crashed into land anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to make some modifications to this. I think first things first is I need more fuel for this main stage right here. Uh, so let me see if I can remove these guys, move this guy down, and add another fuel tank. I don't know what this does to the stability of the whole situation. Uh, Seems like it might be a little bit wobbly, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, maybe I also need another fuel tank up here. To give me some time, because I ran out of fuel there pretty quick. Oh, this looks like it's going to be a disaster. Uh, unfortunately, one of the pieces that's missing right now in this game is there's there should be some sort of shroud around this to make it a little bit more stable. Uh, but uh, not sure not sure what to do about that, but uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, I also want to add... More solid rocket boosters. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I had three before. I think we should add six. <laughs> Just what the hell. Go for broke. So let me, whoa, let me add these on here. I don't know if they all are going to need winglets, but... Uh, uh, all right, that's amazing. And they were kind of wobbling around a little bit crazy, uh, if, if you remember my last video. So I'm going to add... I think these are strut connectors I could add uh, between them. So if I do that and that, yeah, oh, well, wait a minute. That kind of messes up when they separate. They're going to be stuck together. Let me undo that. Uh, how do I undo that? There we go. Uh, unless, let me see, if I change the symmetry, maybe it'll only do it at two at a time. Ah, I'm a wise one. Let me that and try to hit the same spot on the other side uh no that didn't work what the hell guys uh, let me try maybe i'll just have to do it one at a time nope get back there we go okay yeah one at a time seems like it might be the way to go let me do that and then i also want to do it to these two very exciting. Hopefully I'm getting this somewhat respectably symmetrical. And one right there and there. Maybe I should attach the tops too. All right, I have all of these solid rocket boosters in this crazy arrangement, uh, all connected together so they don't wobble around too much. Uh, I do want to remove a few of these wings. I want it to be more of a three-wing situation. There we go. Okay. So if I do it like that... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got those three wings. Uh, I've got four, <laughs> count them, four fuel tanks. Uh, that should be interesting. <laughs> And then I have a disconnector and a bigger upper stage right there. This this could be this could be problems. <laughs> so let me rename this spacecraft the Wolfie 1.6 because I have six solid rocket boosters down there. Let me save it and let's go see if we can't keep our astronauts alive to the launch pad. All right, uh, pretty good. A little bit wobbly. That's a little bit concerning. Uh, I don't know what could be done about that, but uh, let's try this out. Uh, we got Bill, Jebediah, and Bob are back. Kind of wobbling in the wind there, so before things start breaking, let's just launch. I'm going to put the throttle up to 80%, uh, about 90%. And for a countdown in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Easy there, easy there. Oh god, oh god, that's a little bit wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. 
Take it easy. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Whoa, whoa. All right. Take it easy. Ah. Oh, good lord. That does not look healthy at all. All right. We're still going up, but it feels like I'm slowing down. I might have too much weight. Uh, I think I'm slowing down. Yeah, this is bad. Bad news. Let's uh, turn off the automatic thing and let me try to angle myself so I start to sort of go towards the ocean. Just in case. Overheat. Oh god. Slow down. Slow the engine down. Okay. Yeah, this is bad. Bad news. Bad news, guys. Uh, we're, we're starting to head in the downward direction. We are losing altitude. Let's screw that. Ah. Uh, oh god. Oh god, guys. Okay. Okay. Let's just try to slow our descent. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Oh, watch it, guys. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the rocket. And now I don't have control of it because I've disconnected. Uh, let's see what the parachute can do. Oh, no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Disconnect. Why won't you disconnect? <laughs> oh, God. This isn't good. Ah! Uh, the astronauts are having fun, and I'm heading towards land. Ah, there we go. Oh, watch out. Oh, God. I'm trying to get that on camera. Kaboosh! Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, so there's the launch pad. My guys didn't make it too far. <laughs> but hopefully they'll survive this, this whole ordeal. Okay, so... Lesson of the day is, when you add a bunch of fuel tanks, it also adds a bunch of weight, and then you can't fully get off the ground. And... boosh. Alright. <laughs> that was interesting. And flight... Only made it to five kilometers. Didn't make it too far. But they survived. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oop, I actually want to go back to the vehicle assembly building. Okay, so <laughs> Kerbal Space Program, it's trial and error. Uh, the Wolfie 1.6 is not not exactly the, the rocket designed to go for, so uh, let me let me mess around a little bit and then I'll, I'll be back to see if I can come up with a better design. So I'll, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I made a few modifications to the design of my spacecraft. It is now the Wolfie 2.6. I removed, actually, two fuel cells from this first uh, segment. I kept the six boosters, and I added winglets to each one. Maybe that'll give me a little bit more control and less of that wobbliness. Uh, but then I kept two, the same two, uh, what are these things called? Fuel thingies up here and this rocket here which, uh, let me see here, is that, is that the right rocket? Yeah, I think it is. And then, uh, well, let me actually move these up a little bit. Oops, forgot symmetry. Forgot the symmetry, I need those, get, get off of there. And four. All right, there we go. And I also moved my wings up to this top stage uh, maybe that'll give me a little bit more stability, but uh, I'm ready. Let me save that again. I'm ready to test this guy out. Uh, so back to the launch pad. Hopefully it's a little bit more stable and a little bit lighter so we can get off the ground easier. I also separated it uh, back to the default so that actually in the first stage I'm only running on the solid rocket boosters. I don't know if that'll help. Uh, maybe it'll reserve 
this fuel for when after these disconnect and then I'll be able to use it then. Uh, but anyway, enough enough talk. Ooh, it's got a nice nice shadow, very futuristic. Enough talk, let's launch this bad boy. In five, four, three, two, one. And away we are. Put that on. Easy now, easy, easy. Gosh, take it easy with that, please. <laughs> that just does not look right. Disconnect and start that engine. Throttle up. Let me actually kind of start my tilt. There we go. There we go. Stop rolling, please. Okay. I'm going to turn that back on because I'm kind of losing control. Okay. There we go. Turn the, the computer back on. It's okay. At least we're going up. Uh, not as fast as I was hoping, though. Alright, I'm throttling up to 100% just, just to use my rocket that I have there. Dang it, I'm going horizontally again. I'm trying to make it so I'm a little bit more of an angle. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh god, I'm spinning. I'm spinning. Take it easy, guys. Alright, I need I need the computer guidance once again. Ah, frustrating, frustrating, I say. Alright, I'm losing altitude again. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> and I'm out of fuel. Now, ah, uh, okay. Uh, not good, guys. Oh, not good, guys. Not good, guys. It's uh, not good, guys. Oh God, guys. Uh, all right. Oh, we're spinning around. Watch out for the rockets. Okay. <laughs> ah, well, another disaster. Well, at least we did a, a water landing this time. Uh, we got a little bit far out there, but uh, dang, I don't know what I have to do. <laughs> and we can still see the launch pad on the horizon. <laughs> Alright, so our space program <laughs> is going backwards. We had an okay flight, the first flight, but uh, these last few flights are not working out too well. Back to the drawing board! Alright, I'm back guys, and I've made a few modifications. If we can take a look, I'm going to go down the rocket here. I've got two stages at top. And this big honking thing at the bottom. Uh, I don't know why I wasn't using this before, but there's this triple tri-coupler that allows you to stack a whole bunch of more engines and fuel onto your, your rocket. Uh, I still have the six solid rocket boosters, and then I have three main engines at the bottom, so therefore this is the Wolfie 3.6. Uh, this might be overkill. It, it might be too heavy. I might not even be able to get off the ground, but uh, I think actually 
to leave you guys in suspense. I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut this episode off here because it's gotten pretty long. So in the next episode, we will take the Wolfie 3.6 for its first spin, uh, hopefully, finally, into orbit around the planet of Kerbal. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time.